What if I told you that there is a course which teaches you solidity right from scratch and makes you an expert in it in just 10 days and the best part is that it's completely for free. Yes, I am talking about the 10 day solidity challenge which is presently available on Metaschool's platform. I had undertaken that challenge and I successfully completed it for the 10 days and that's why I am now making a video to review the entire course. I want you guys to know how that course went, what I liked, what I disliked and uh, the entire journey of me going through that course. So let's hop onto my laptop, let's look at that course in detail and see what all you will learn, what all you will get and the best part is at the end of the course you will also receive an NFT in your MetaMask account just to show that you have completed the course. So make sure to follow along with me and let's see how that course looks like. Okay, so this is Metaschool's platform over here. You can see join the Web3 rocket ship and we will click over to explore courses. We have one particular course in mind, which is 10 days of solidity. Now there are a bunch of other courses as well that you can take, which is about NFTs, uh, writing your first hello world smart contract. Then there's uh, one more about NFT marketplace, MetaMask and all of the other things as well. Uh, but over here, we will be focusing on 10 days of solidity solidity challenge so let's just uh, hop right into it and already 14,000 people have uh, enrolled for it and have done it so uh, over here you can see day one intro to web3 that is the first uh, introduction to this entire course and what you will learn in it and all of those things now the first part of it if you already know a bunch of other programming languages and if you haven't yet explored anything in web3 you don't even know what web3 is then this particular particular course is the best for you because it takes you right from you know teaching you about what web 1 is web 2 is and then over here you can see what web 3 is and then it also shows you all the examples and everything about web 3 uh, other thing that I forgot to mention was that at the end of each of these courses you will have an assignment so over here the assignment was what is web 3 do not copy my assignment but I just wanted to show you guys that uh, over here I had written read drive and own that is what web3 is and uh, over here you can also find discussions if you have any kinds of doubts regarding that particular course then you can always put it over here in the discussions tab or you can even message me on telegram you can join my group which is student Samaj by Ali Solanki if you haven't joined that group join it right now uh, I, I will be personally solving those doubts as well so that is what there is uh, to this first section which is intro to web3 after that we have intro to blog blockchain theory and consensus mechanism if you don't know what consensus mechanisms are if you've heard of proof of work proof of stake all of these are consensus mechanisms so over here you will be taught about that uh, you will be taught about what blockchains are and how it all works and the basic layers behind it all so over here we have not even started with uh, solidity uh, two days of ours was just to learn about web3 and blockchain now once you've gotten that solid base after that we start with solidity from day 3 to day 10 now from day 3 we see that there is an intro to ethereum and its terminologies now over here they had particularly talked about what ethereum blockchain is instead of talking about all the blockchains in general they have talked about ethereum how it all works and uh, because solidity is the main programming language that works on ethereum blockchain and other blockchains which support evm which is ethereum virtual machine uh, that's why they are talking about ethereum over here now they have all the graphics they have every single thing listed over here and uh, you can see they have even uh, shown you how you know blocks are connected how these transactions are stored with their headers uh, and everything so everything is uh, you know written over here folks genesis block how it all works if you're not understanding any of it right now just go over to this course and start learning about about it you can even uh, put in your assignments over here and then there is the discussion section as well so that was the day three after that we move on to day four now day four is where you start with hello world smart contract using remix now if you don't know what remix is let me just show it to you right away so just search for remix ide and over here you will find uh, remix okay this was not remix yeah remix ide 
so remix.ethereum.org this is uh, remix so over here you can find that you can actually start uh, you know putting out your smart contracts this is a solidity smart contract let me just zoom in so this is a solidity smart contract that you can just you know write over here if you watched my how to create a cryptocurrency video uh, you would have seen me use uh, remix for you know deploying my smart contracts and interacting with them so it's a perfect tool that you need to learn if you're you know getting into solidity learning about solidity and uh, deploying smart contracts as well so over here that is what is taught to you what is remix ide and hello world smart contract and all of those things after that we have day 5 of creating your own simple erc20 contract now erc20 smart contracts are basically those token contracts so if you've uh, heard about shiba inu that is an erc20 token uh, so with ERC20, you can actually create your own cryptocurrency. So on day five, you will actually be able to create your own cryptocurrencies. You'll be able to deploy them and all of those things. Day six is about useful libraries and open zipline. So let's look at what open zipline is because that is really important as well. So let me just open that up. Open zipline and my uh, spelling was wrong, by the way. But uh, over here you can see uh, docs and over here you can find the contracts. So open zipline has a bunch of contracts. Now we were talking about ERC20, right? So over here we have ERC20 contract and you can directly use uh, open zipline's contracts in your smart contract. So just by writing this particular line of code, which is import open zipline uh, erc20.solidity, you would be able to import the entire uh, ERC20 contract and then use it according to your needs so that is what open zipline does erc20 erc721 is the nft contract then there's erc1155 which is again nft contract and then a bunch of other contracts as well uh, you can even customize it depending on what you want uh, you have all the things listed over here so open zipline is very important to learn when you're building smart contracts it helps you a lot you can just use those templates and start writing your smart contracts right away instead of in Inventing the wheel right from scratch. So that is what Open Zipline does. After that, we have day seven of creating your own simple ERC721 contract. Oh, I just went back. Yeah. So uh, day seven of creating your own simple ERC721 contract, which is NFTs. So you are actually deploying NFTs on day seven. So on day five, we were creating cryptocurrencies. Day six, we uh, saw a better way to create those things. Day seven, we started creating NFTs. So on day eight, we start using hard hat. So if you don't know what hard hat is, let me just show it to you. So let's just go over to hardhat.org and over here you can see Ethereum development environment for professionals. So it basically helps you not only, you know, create your smart contracts, deploy it, but also to debug it and all of those things. Now, Hardhat helps you run Solidity locally. So the difference between Remix and Hardhat is specifically uh, what I look at it is that Remix is online. You cannot use Remix IDE on your local computer. If you wanted to do any kind of changes you had to go to remix.ethereum.org and you cannot download it but hard hat is something that you can run locally you can debug with it and you can do all sorts of things uh, if you've used vs code for writing any kind of uh, smart contracts or anything or any kind of development projects then uh, it integrates very well with uh, visual studio code as well so uh, yeah that is something that i wanted to show after that, we have writing unit tests on hard hat. So over here, after you create your smart contracts, the major problem that happens with these contracts is that we forget to test them out and see if it actually supports the production environment or not. So over here on day nine, we will be writing unit tests and testing our smart contracts. And then day 10, that's my favorite one, which is solidity best practices. Now over here, you will learn how to save gases and uh, you know data privacy loop uh, pagination and a bunch of different things so uh, that is something that i wanted to show uh, 13000 14000 people have already taken this particular course and i want you guys to take leverage of this as well so see you guys in this particular uh, course if you guys have 
any any kinds of doubts then then do let me know on my telegram group you can even message me on instagram if you have any doubts uh, you can leave them down in the comment section i look at every single comment so let's see how it goes and do let me know about your progress as well uh, keep completing all of these days and mention it down below whatever you are learning at this point so that others can see it and learn from you as well so that's it for this video and i hope you guys enjoyed it too